Hi everybody, thanks very much for tuning in to another lesson on Byron Techniques with myself, Kieran Leonard. This week's lesson is pretty straightforward and it's going to be really quick as it's a bit of a follow on from lesson number two, which you can find in the link in the description below. Um, on Facebook, somebody asked me, what are your thoughts on Double Ended Plane? And I went away and I had to think about it and I was going, wow, actually, I've never thought about this before. I, I didn't ever segregate or break it down and go, well, this is that and this is this. And I just thought it was a really good opportunity to make a video and maybe share my thoughts on it with you. When I started out, I think I would have been predominantly known as a, as a single or a top end player. And, and being from Ulster, there was a great style of that with so many amazing Byron players that played that way. I'm thinking the likes of Paul Phillips, um, who was a real master of this style. Um, and I followed suit. Do you know the likes of Eamon Murray was there as well? He was a huge hero of mine growing up. So I thought, well, that's what I'm going to try and do. So uh, when I started out playing, everything I did was pretty much this top end, single ended stuff. And it was cool and it worked at that point for, for what I wanted it to do. As I got a bit older, and I got into the, the, the business a bit more and I started working a bit more in, in Irish Theatre and Music uh, through other interactions with, with colleagues who are glad to say are now friends. They really opened my eyes um, and my ears to the importance of the double-ended ornament. Uh, and I talked about it a bit last week in the other video, but um, I thought I'd try and sum it up here. And to answer the question, um, I think it was Joe Kennedy that asked me the question. Joe, to answer the question, my thoughts on double-ended playing are that it is crucial to the tradition and to the style of, of the Byron. And it doesn't matter if it's north, south, east or west, it's a, a crucial part of Byron mastery. And the very simple reason is, in my opinion, um, the double-ended role is the timekeeper. And if you're not familiar with that phrase, it's kind of like a drumming phrase um, which references groove. And the timekeeper is the thing that just keeps it grounded, keeps it solid. Uh, and it's the real heart of the music. Um, and to give an example, I'm gonna play um, a motor rhythm in a real time with a single ended roll like I did last week. And then I'm gonna go straight into the, the timekeeper, the double ended roll so you can hear the difference. So there they are back to back, you've got one double and one single ended and I think the biggest thing about this, the biggest misconception with double ended or single ended playing is that people think they have to choose. You really, really don't and from working, as I say, in the business, uh, I found it so important to have some sort of a grasp of each style, whether it be single or double and even to narrow that down to have a grasp of the rudiment of how to play a single ended role or how to play a double ended role. As I say, the double is really the timekeeper. It's what keeps the music flowing. It's so steady, it's so constant, and it's got a great heart to it. It is also much tighter than a single-ended roll. So technically, a single-ended roll is open. It's more articulate, it's more clear. And it's like this. You can hear every single stroke, and it's, it's quite a specific um, movement to be able to execute that. Whereas with the double ended roll, it's more of a twist to the wrist, at least that's the way I describe it. And it's... It's much closer together, and because it's much closer together, there's less air there. So I find that musically, it just bounces along that bit more. There's more phrasing to it, there's more music to it. Uh, and it doesn't break up the rhythm of the tune. Whereas the single ended one really does, because there's that space between the notes. And also why it's very hard to do a double-ended roll at that speed. They really are a rudiment that's supposed to just move with the music. Uh, and I cannot stress that enough. It's the same in jig time. It's the exact same thing with the single-ended roll or the double-ended roll. If I play that single-ended, you can see how much more work it takes.
Or is the exact same thing double-ended? It's, it's effortless, and it's effortless because it is that concrete timekeeper. As I say, this is just my opinion. There are other people way more qualified to demonstrate the double-ended style and the double-ended approach than me, but it's just what I find works. So to really summarize the question, Joe, my thoughts on double-ended playing are that, that it is the timekeeper and that it's the heart of the music, but I don't choose to play double or single. I don't specifically say I'm gonna do this. I allow the type of music I'm playing or the style of music I'm playing to dictate what I should implement. Um, if you're playing along in a reel, and excuse my lilting, but if it was something like the Duke Leinster, I would try and play that. Um, because it's matching the articulation of the melodic line. But if it's not there, the role that I would then use is my double. So I would generally put in single-ended roles where it makes more clarity, it makes musical sense, and it's where I really want it to stand out within the phrase. My double-ended stuff is constant. It's my motor rhythm, it's part of my motor rhythm, and it's what I use as the timekeeper to keep groove going. So I hope that makes sense, and it's not too much of a ramble. It's just my opinion. Um, if it's something more you want, make sure to like, share, subscribe. You can find me, my website is kleonardmusic.com. All the links are in the description below. And uh, as I said last week, I am doing Skype lessons where you can hear loads more rubbish that I'll be talking about all this sort of stuff. But if it's something that interests you, drop me an email, get in touch, and I hope to hear from you soon. Thanks.